Blake Griffin is recognized in the NBA as one of the most premier NBA vets. But when talking about right now, he's not in a good situation. What I mean by that is that Blake right now is not getting any playing time and while he's on the Brooklyn Nets, even though they're a championship contender, there are some rumors circling that Blake Griffin could become available via a buyout and him getting waived. The Brooklyn Nets have been super busy this season. They traded away James Harden and in return brought in Ben Simmons. But not only did they bring in Ben Simmons, they also brought in Andre Drummond. With that being said, the Brooklyn Nets front court right now is super crowded. They've got Andre Drummond, they have Lamarcus Aldridge, they also have Nicholas Claxton, of course they got Blake Griffin, but even a young player of Dayron Sharp is getting more minutes right now than Blake. The Brooklyn Nets have also been playing small ball and putting James Johnson at the center position. And if you simply look at the rotation of the Brooklyn Nets, Blake Griffin has been pushed to the bottom of the 15. Blake is having a horrible season of 6 points a game, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, playing less than 15 minutes per game. And as the buyout market is about to close any minute now, there are rumors that Blake Griffin could be waived. And if this is the case, I want Rob Plinka and the Lakers to target him immediately. As of right now, Blake Griffin is only 32 years old, so when you really think about it, he still has a lot left in his tank. Being the number one overall pick in the 2009 draft, Blake still has some value in the NBA, but of course, throughout his career, he's been hit with multiple injuries that kind of made him go downhill just a little bit. He used to be an offensive monster to be reckoned with, one of the best dunkers and athletic bigs in the NBA. And if I'm gonna keep it real, Blake is no longer in that category and that caliber. But I still believe he does belong on an NBA roster and does deserve consistent minutes. Right now with the Brooklyn Nets, he's getting none. Blake Griffin's talents are simply being wasted. Having career averages of about 20 points per game, 8 rebounds and 4 assists. I believe these numbers can be magnified again just especially on a good position, a good role and right now the Lakers have that open spot available, especially at the starting power forward and center position. Anthony Davis just went down with a big leg injury and will be out the next 4-5 to five weeks and of course with the Lakers right now picking at straws and needing anybody available in the buyout markets, all of the most popular buyout candidates have been taken. But Blake Griffin soon could be coming to the table. A fun fact to know is during last year's NBA midseason, during the buyout market, Blake Griffin was on the Detroit Pistons and then of course he ended up sacrificing $13 million to get bought out and then ended up signing with the Brooklyn Nets. And then unfortunately, the Brooklyn Nets ended up losing in the NBA playoffs so Blake didn't get the championship he wanted to. But the point that I'm trying to make is during last year's NBA bout market, the Lakers and Rob Plinka were pursuing Blake Griffin alongside Andre Drummond and even LaMarcus Aldridge. And right now with the possibility of the exact same situation coming again, especially after the big Anthony Davis injury, the Lakers need a front court presence player right now and Blake could be their guy. He's younger than Dwight Howard, he's younger than Carmelo Anthony and even younger than Trevor Ariza. And with Blake proving to the NBA that he's been healthy over the past two seasons, I believe if he comes back to LA, to the Lakers this time instead of the Clippers, Blake could be magnified and given a high usage rate temporarily until Anthony Davis returns. And then once AD returns, Blake can be a beneficial role player off the bench to help the Lakers in a potential deep playoff run. The Lakers need a starting caliber power forward and center that can score on the offense to help LeBron James, Russell Westbrook and Malik Monk. And with Blake Griffin having that experience in LA to be dominant, knows how to score and be a beneficial factor, I would love to see Blake Griffin get waived by the Brooklyn Nets and then the Lakers sign him to a veterans minimum contract for the rest of the season. The Brooklyn Nets right now have such a crowded front court, which simply makes me believe that in these upcoming few days before the buyout market closes, Blake could be a target. So what's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. Do you believe Blake Griffin being waived is going to happen? And do you believe if he does, the Lakers should target him immediately? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, take it easy, God bless. And I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!